is an emergency I beg in urgency This is a serious case The way you're putting work on me Just like a surgeon when you operate that face Alright, alright, let me turn up this phone So I can hear you So you opted out for the 10 card spread, gotcha. We finna go through yeah. all your houses. Uh, you watch the videos, you know how it go. Uh, just give you a little background. I don't do, zo I don't read zodiac signs, uh, I don't, so I don't need to know your birthday or your zodiac sign. Nothing's wrong with that practice. It's just that I, um, the spirit connect me with direct energies and I'll be reading your direct energy. Okay. I get a lot of flat back from the from some YouTubers. They they mad at me because I say I don't read Zodiac. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> so I give you a ten card spread via the Celtic cross, and we go. When you get to your seventh house, you must ask for a clarifier. That's the rules. Up. That's that's just my personal rule. Uh, be open with the spirit and let's enjoy it. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm gonna put some water. I'm gonna put some uh, water on my hands, and we gonna get started. All right. Shuffle the cards. Let me get the cards a little more shuffle while you're on the phone. Hmm. Seems like one card jumped out. I'm gonna put that. What? You know what? I'm going. I think I'm gonna have to start adding. And I, I, I guess I gotta start doing in advance because something told me to drop this in your enemies. So, brother, you got an enemy. Okay. Uh, you got an enemy too. Oh my God. What's going on? All right. So, I'm gonna, uh, that's what Spirit said, and I left the card flipped over. So, I want you to tell me your first name, and then I'll pray over the cards, and we'll start, okay? Okay. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, sir. These two. Man, you got cards popping out everywhere. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm serious. They popping out. So I'm going to leave these right here and put them up there. So I'm going to... I'm gonna start. I don't know. I'm critical. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. I see why. Six. I see why. Seven. Oh boy. Eight. Oh my lord. Nine. Huh. <sighs> I was scared at first, Papa. <laughs> Oh, you wasn't? No. Oh, boy. Hey, you and you don't have no reason to from what I just seen lay on in, in my table. I was like, oh, my God. What's going on with brother? All right. I'm good. So, I'm going to leave these cards turned over because they in your enemy zone. And I don't know what they get to the end of the reading, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to start with your first house. This is a good hand, man. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, we're going to start with your first house. Your first house is ruled by Aries. And it's governed by Mars. Your first house represents your ego, your self-image, how you see yourself. This is all you. You looking in the mirror, that's okay. what this card is. In this house right here, you have Oya. You have Oya, uh, Shenzhen, Yenza, Oya, depending on where you're from. Uh, she represents transformation. So you see yourself as somebody who literally just did a 180. Yes, I am. Oh, my God. Brother, you did a 180, but get this. I'm smiling, right, because they're showing me. You did this shit during a hurricane, like during a storm. I mean, like... <laughs> Brother, they said you did this 
when everything was going bad. Yes, sir. Jesus, man, you literally. Matter of fact, they said you was connected to death. You were connected to destruction, decay, and death. And you beat it with your willpower alone. Mm-hmm. That's impressive, brother. I'm, I'm, I, I, <laughs> damn! I thought I had willpower. Ooh. That means a lot. That means a lot. Said a lot. Would you like to ask this card a question? She here? <laughs> yeah, please. Go ahead. You gotta ask it. I can't ask it for you. What you wanna ask her about about your self imaging and the change you made? Because she was there. Was it? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, we're we'll, we'll passing that question. I think I understand that. I understand closer. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here to your second house. Your second house is ruled by Taurus and is governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic affair: money here, money now, job promotion, investment, right here, right now, what you digging in your pocket. And in this house right here, you have the couple's card in the upright position. Okay. Why is there a couple, why is there a partnership, male and female partnership in your, in your money house right now? Spirit is telling me that this was contingent on your partner though. Like the financial aspect, the financial gain that you, the financial stability, that's the word, that you're experiencing mm-hmm. has a lot to do with your your partner, your mate. Your, good. Huh? It, it, it's not my mate. I know who it is. I know who it is, though. Okay. <laughs> they say they say she is uh, 100% your backbone. All right. Man, you you winning. Can I get some of this secret? What, what you got, bro? Man, it's like this. I'm sharing with everybody. You can get some. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, would would you like to ask this house a question? Yes. Go ahead. Um, well, this partnership be long-lasting and positive throughout the relationship. Will this partnership be long-lasting? And, and healthy throughout the relationship, the duration, spirit. What we got? It says you can do it. Man, spirit just say, I think you need to take this a little further. Okay. They say you can do it. This is something you should do. And and he like, he, they said that he showed me a picture of him doing one of them Mexican dances where they hold the two uh, Moroccos uh, uh, and they doing that yes. like side to side. Yeah, thing. <laughs> yes. They say enjoy this ride, bro. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house represents communication. That's it. Flat, plain out communication. Mm-hmm. In this house, you have the 10 of Earth in the upright position. Brother, I don't. What are you listening to? Some motivational tapes. You listen to something. You, you're doing your mantras, or hell, somebody doing mantras with you, or to you, or on mm-hmm. you. But every bit of information coming to you makes you a winner. It's like did somebody, somebody calling you saying, "Hey, I need you to go and uh, invest in Microsoft right now," and you be like, "Oh well, okay, shit, I got to invest in Microsoft," and it yields a win. It's like every time if somebody says something to you, you will take it and you get stronger, better, faster. Uh, they said they told me to call you prodigy. I don't know what that is, what that means, but they say if you look up the Marvel comic book character prodigy, you can relate. Mm. You can relate directly to him. Okay, I know who prodigy is. Okay, I I never heard of prodigy. I'm just telling you. So. <laughs> I don't know what they do. Every they say everything you learn makes you stronger, better, faster. And that's all the universe is giving you things to grow on. I see. Would you like to ask this card a question? 
Yes. Go ahead. How can I use this information to help others? How do we use this information to help others? They said yes. So how do you use the information to help others? This is, they, they say you have to get them yes answers. When I say yes answers, so let's say you, and I'm going to turn it to a darker side, but mm -hmm. but it's, a, it's hitting a straight lick with a crooked stick, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they basically say you have to, with this information, you got to learn to hit a straight lick with a crooked stick. So is mm -hmm. if you need if so, let's say somebody needs something done in the community they need they need lights put around the neighborhood for safety you need to use the information you may find whether it's blackmail or, uh, or, or or whatever you need to use that information to get the job done for the people. Okay. I'm sorry the spirit is turning you into a community activist. You know how they say with with great power come great responsibility. They just told me because yes, you got karma over here in your sixth house, and we're going to get to that. But they say they're not giving you all these abilities and these gifts and this in this worldwide hand for you to sit around and, and fatten your chops. But spirits say you're not that type of person anyway. They say you, you are one of the most giving and understanding and knowledge-sharing people to have ever walked the planet. And for some reason, they, for some reason they're telling me something is going on in New York City. Either you live in New York City or you got family up there, close family, or you're taking a trip there next week. But New York City I live, is... I, I, I'm only raised in New York City and have family up there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Chuck, our logo, man. Oh, boy. Oh, Spirit, Spirit is happy with you, brother. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But that's how you use, the, the answer to your question, that's how you use your power. You got to get yes answers for everybody else. You got to use your okay. intelligence, your skills, and your connection with the universe to get through the red tape. Okay. That's how you do it. All right. Whew, man, this is impressive. Uh, let's go over to your, fifth, your fourth house. Wow. All right, your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and is governed by the moon. Your fourth house represent uh, your house and your home, the actual place where you live. It could represent a city, it could represent a city and state, but that's, I see that more political. Also, the fourth house represent the three closest people you will allow to live in your home via family and friends. And in this house, you have the two of air in the upright position. Listen to me. If you not committed to somebody, Somebody is going to be committing themselves to you. This is coming. This is coming into your house and your home. So get okay. ready. Get ready for a union. No okay. okay. way. They saying the two of air is Gemini energy all day long, and then this Gemini, we just left the house of Gemini, and for you to walk, we just left the house of Gemini. This is how symbolic it is. We just left the third house, which is the house of Gemini, to which they say. All communication coming to you is going to benefit you in order to benefit the people. Then it takes you to the fourth house, which is your house and home. And then you get a Gemini car in that house. So this is a... I don't this, like Gemini. You don't like them? <laughs> I don't like Gemini. Well, they will run, hey, they, they will run you ragged trying to figure them out. Well, I trust me, I know. I know I know Gemini as well. I date one. <laughs> but yeah. So you got a, a Gemini energy, but uh it's it's not the Gemini person themselves. It's more of a connection, a loving energy. One plus one, you know, equals two. So don't be surprised if somebody asks, could they be with you? Could they be your wife? Could they move in with you? Things of that nature because hit this it's a union. Now the fourth house okay. also the fourth house also represents a secret, correct? Now, here's the moon. So there is a secret in this house. The secret in this Ooh. house is you know the person. You've been blowing the person off intentionally. You've been you've been keeping this person at bay intentionally. 
that's the big secret. But the universe say your hand ain't big enough to stop them, so <laughs> it's coming. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they laughing. They laughing behind me, man. They say his hand ain't big enough to stop us. We going to give it to him regardless. <laughs> this your blessing, man. <laughs> okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Uh, yes. Is this love shit for life? Is it a lifelong thing? Is it a lifelong thing? Tell me. It says positive change. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, you really ain't have no, you really ain't the type to sit up there and, and have a whole card anyway. So this is just what you up your alley. Okay. <laughs> this is up your alley, man. You you done prayed for this. You done did everything right for this. You really want this. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to go over here and we going up into your fifth house. I'm jealous, man. I'm really jealous of this hand. Gee, go. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous, man. You got Arishas, you got gods, you got karma, and everybody's smiling. Dang. Don't be jealous, bro. I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. This is a good hand, man. So now we're going to go up here to your fifth house. Your fifth house is ruled by Leo, uh, Leo and is governed by the sun. Your fifth house represents your sex life, your entertainment, and your luck. Sex life, entertainment, and luck. It also represents your courage, your strength, where you get all that goodness from, all that, that positive pride. And in this house, man, you have Obatala himself. Mm. I love Obatala. He says, listen to what he's saying to you now. He says he going to give you his sword. He said he don't yeah. never give up his sword now. He said he going to give you his sword and he going to bless you to use it. Now, I don't know if that means you're going to end up being a priest. I don't know if he's going to crown your head, but he says you'll understand this better than me. He said he's going to give you his sword and bless you to use it. Mm. Brother. Mm. Okay. Now, that's... Okay, that resonates. That resonates. That resonates. Because he that's one message he kept secret from me. He said you don't need to know, but he will know. So he's going to give you his sword and bless you to use it. Wow. It's, it's, it's amazing he said that to you because he basically said the same thing to me. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you, know, you know what you need to know. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. I got you. Woo. Uh, now, keep in mind, that's your sex life, entertainment, luck, and your strength. So man, you bet nine thousand. Okay, okay. We keep swimming. <laughs> Would you like to uh, ask this card a question? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, will this power be used globally mm -hmm. or globally? Is this a global? Is this a global need? He gotta help. You giving it to him? Is this gonna be a global or local? Global or local? They said fertility, man. This is bigger than me and you. Okay. They say this you giving birth to a nation, literally. That's what he said. This is birth to a nation. You may start your own church. All right. <laughs> this says birth to a nation, man. All right. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go over to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents future economic affairs, future finances, job promotion, investment, future. In this house, you have the karma card in the upright position. Karma is not touching you badly in any way. Karma saying, this is time for you to win. Karma say, because of what you did, what you've been through, how they, no, they say not what, they say how you lived, how you, how you've been through. I don't know what the fuck that would mean, how you've been through. Or how you was done. That's it. How you was done. So how you live and how you was done, your karma comes back really good and you reaping these rewards because of that. Makes perfect sense. They speaking they speaking to me in a language I don't understand. I don't understand this language. I never heard these words before and I, I don't understand it. And I, I don't even think my tongue can pronounce it, but 
then again, okay, I can I can say it. I can I can. Do you know what it feels like? Yeah, uh, the language kind of feels like warm in my chest, but it makes my tongue want to uh, flail like a snake. Like like my tongue need to be able to make waves. Uh, do, 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 what's the language? Wulago, wul, wul. I'm gonna get this. Wulongo, 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 olum, wulongo, olum, wulongo, olum. Cool with a Q. Kula. Kula. Ulongo. Wulum. Kula. That's the best I could pronounce it in, in my tongue. But it's a, uh, it's, okay. it sounds funny. Kula. Yeah. So I, I would research that one. I don't know what that means. I don't know what tongue, but I never heard this language spoken and I done spoke to several deities before. Okay. So, but your karma is good, man. So you you finna reap these rewards because of uh, how you lived and how you survived. I for, see, I don't forgot what they said it now. See, because that message wasn't for me; it was for you. Yes, I, I remember. I remember. Okay. <laughs> All right. Would you like to ask karma a question? No, I just want to say thank you. All right. I want to say thank you. Thank you, karma. Say thank you. All right, now we're finna go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house mm -hmm. is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Uh, your seventh house represent relationship, matrimonial affairs, uh, the couple dating, and all this. In your seventh house right now, you have the two of water in the upright position. As you know, water is spirit, water is emotion. You have the two of water in the upright position, which is two seahorses kissing. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I can't make this up. Now I'm gonna. <laughs> now you got now in your seventh house of relationship, matrimony, and romance. You got two seahorse fists uh, kissing. In your in your uh, fourth house of communication, I mean, in your fourth house of house and home, you got two swans kissing, forming a wow. heart. It's two cards forming a heart, brother. Somebody is coming your way. Uh, okay. Don't fight it. Go with the flow. Right. It's good. And now you have to ask this card a question. It's the seventh house. Okay, seventh house. Oh. <laughs> Is it somebody I already know? Spirit. I think he said it was somebody. You, yeah, in, in, your fourth, in your fourth house, it's somebody you already knew that you was pushing away. And remember when they say their hand is bigger than yours and they laughed at you? And now you got it. So answer another question for this one here. Okay. Is she coming soon? Spirit, give him a time frame. Give him a time frame. You blessing him with everything. Give him a time frame. It says follow your heart. Wow. He can choose. It can, tomorrow. They said tomorrow if you want. Okay. You walk up to the person right. and say, hey, how you doing? It's me. <laughs> Hello, is it me you're <laughs> looking for? <laughs> Look, Lionel's my boy. That's what they just... That's what just played in my head. Like, only thing you have to do is walk up to him and literally say, Lionel Richie, Hello. Is it me you're looking for? And then... Oddly enough, brother. Uh-huh. That's the, that's the ring, that's the ring on my cell phone. Man, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you now, that's the ring on my cell phone. Man, why do you spirit play with me, man? <laughs> well, you're brother... You're making me nervous now. You're making me nervous now. <laughs> hey, boy, spirit will make you a believer. Lord. Yes, sir. 
Well, it's on you. It's in your hand. You got to you got to choose of it. Uh, you see over uh you see uh, over Tala, he said he giving you his sword and the blessing to use it. Man, and he created humans. So come on now. You uh, I'm gonna go with it. All right, you and your God power. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we're gonna get over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind, what you manifest, what you think, what you fear. But they saying you have no fear. Surprisingly, you are not a scary man at anything. So they saying this mm -hmm. message that the fire is here. You got a message from the fire. So what they're telling me is that you're one hundred percent on go. You are. You are. You're wanting. Not are. You're wanting to bring warmth and light to the world. This is your. Yes. This is your mission, and you have aligned yourself with your mission. I don't know. The only, I'm going to tell you something, and this is crazy. The only other person I've known to have this type of energy is myself. Mm. This is, um, you have been through three to four eclipses, lived a hundred lifetimes, Man, you have done the work. You have picked yourself apart so bad and put yourself back together so well that the universe lined itself up with you just cause. Nobody else can do it. Let's see. Bro, you got a mission, man. You got a mission. I just ask that you keep me informed. Wow. A light to the world. I want. I remember when I was young and I was in my real secular state. I wanted to rule the world. Could you imagine a little, little, little black Negro from from the hood trying to gain power to rule the entire world? And I used to say Adolf Hitler screwed up. He only had two thirds. I get the whole damn thing. But then I had to grow. And realize, you know, you're a spiritual type guy. You're not someone one of them, uh, them, them hard hitters anymore. So be a spiritual type guy. And then I end up getting reaching everybody in the world. But they said when it comes to you, your dreams of touching everybody in the world is not secular at all. This is really coming from a place of passion and love and hope. Yes. Oh my God, brother, you winning. They, they want you. They got you. They they got your back. Would you like to ask this card a question? It's your subconscious mind now. Would you like to ask it a question? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, where do I start? Spirit, give him a jump off point. Because y'all don't bless nobody with this. Give him a jump off point. Where do you start? Persistence. 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 Okay, where does he start? Persistence. What did you stop? They say you start where you stopped. You was doing something, working your way towards something, then you stopped. They say you need to carry, you need to pick that torch up again and work towards that particular method. That's what he said. Where you stop, that's where you start. Gotcha. Makes perfect sense. Okay. Because it's persistence here. Makes perfect sense. All right. So now we're going to go up here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by... Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Sagittarius are strategic people, brother. I mean, they, they people think they're coolest, but they really know what they're doing. Any zodiac sign that knows how to forget, that takes skill to forget, to forgive and forget and move on and be happy again. So, and I said that for a reason. It's ruled by Sagittarius in your ninth house. Your ninth house represents what will become your reality, your future. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sagittarius has the ability to forget, to make themselves forget so they can move on with, to the next mission, to the next goal, to the next task. Sagittarius also are hunters, skilled, strategic, thinkers. Then you have Jupiter, the planet that will give you whatever you want as long as you ask him the proper way. It'll give you whatever you want. That's his mission to give us abundance, joy, luck, and love. In this house, you have the ace of earth in the upright position. This says somebody who has who is going to stand their ground. Stand their ground, meaning no matter what this person did to you, 
you will continue your mission to move past them, to outthink them, to outrank them. Notice the words the Spirit is saying, outthink and outrank. Mm -hmm. Your reality, you become really good, dude. I don't, I'm, I'm seeing community activists. I'm seeing head of a church. I'm seeing a leadership position in a realm you already exist in. This bull is not moving. You know, you are very sure of yourself. If only everybody else had this type of resilience. You become the charge of bull. You you heard that you heard that term. Spirit say, mess with the bull, get the horns. Well, now you said you don't care about Zodiac, but I'm Taurus the bull. You you a Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> you 100% align with yourself, man. What you will become is yourself. You walk in your truth. This is a bit much, man. My, my, my hair is standing up on my arms. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's serious for it. Wow. Would you like to ask yourself a question, <laughs> Taurus? <laughs> Yeah, I love to ask myself a question. Go ahead. I want to relocate. Okay. I don't feel that New York City is the place for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want to relocate to Florida. Spirit, where should he relocate? Where should he relocate? Where should he relocate? Where should he relocate? Oh, my God. It says go now. <laughs> Where should he relocate? <laughs> what? Hey, man. Spirit having fun with you. What? A, go now. So you got to move from from New York, wherever you at. You got to go. Where should he relocate? <laughs> Crystal. 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 What you mean? Go now. Crystal. Crystal. Rocks. Crystal. Shiny. Rocks. Go now. Crystal. C. Go now. C. Come out of the closet. They said that you don't like Chicago. Like, Chicago is not a place you would go to first. No. Well, they say in Chicago. No. They say in Chicago. Because they said, go now. Then they said, crystal. And they told me to point on the, the, uh, the look at the C. And then it says crystal but look at the sea so chicago is kind of got a uh they say it's going through a chrysalis state so that's how we got crystal they reference that to the chrysalis state meaning it's wrapping itself up it's just like threading itself around like a butterfly chrysalis so it's getting ready to bloom things are getting ready to change in chicago for the better uh and then they said come out of the closet meaning that stop overlooking Chicago. Okay. And surprisingly, they say Prodigy, the character Prodigy, is from Chicago. Like, that's where his Marvel character backstory, Chicago, and he's in the U.S. Senate and a president or something like that, or, or the military high ranking. So. Wow. Uh, Chicago, brother. Okay. Look, look at it. Just look okay. into it. I will. I'm going to. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we're going to go up into your 10th house. Your 10th house is ruled by Capricorn and is governed by Saturn. Saturn gets a big, Saturn gets a bad rep, but Saturn uh, teaches us things like via karma. Saturn puts us to the test so we can get stronger. And Capricorn is the only animal that can literally overcome an obstacle. Once you trigger Capricorn one time, you won't do it again with the same with the same trick. You got to come with a different tactic. And now in this house, you have the eight of water in the upside down position. Why would you get the eight of water in the upside down position, bro? When it comes down to how everybody else in the world is gonna see you. Oh man, the phone broke up. Too much energy. Call back, bro. Call back. I refuse to move. I refuse to move. Call back, brother.
spirit, you gonna get he gonna get this message. He gonna get this message. Y'all tell him whatever he needs to know. Let him know. say that you have the eight of water in the upside down position this means that you had fears you had doubt you had regrets listen to me when i say this my man these fears doubts and regret was cast on you from other people they trick you to thinking you wasn't good enough at one point yes you can never be tricked again because now this reading the spirit says you know the truth It'll make me free. You know the truth. If they sit up there and say, mm -hmm. well, uh, you got one leg, you can't run a marathon, you be like, man, you don't stick a metal post to this bitch and let me go. <laughs> 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 you follow me? Yeah. Nothing, can, follow you, nothing follow can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Wow. Would you like to ask this card a question? Wow. No, I'm, I'm just going to say thank you. It resonates <laughs> with me. Thank you so much. Wow, I'm man, I'm I'm just taken back on this one right here. This was a powerful reading, man. I'm do you now? Let me ask you this: Do you want to see what his enemy was? Who this enemy was? Because I got three cards to know where that jumped out. Oh, absolutely. All right. So, all right, spirit. First card: Reveal who the enemy was for him. Who was trying to stop him or whatever. In energy, enemy, whatever. You had the eight of air in the upright position. This person was incarcerated or this person was trying to get you incarcerated. It's something dealing with the law that this person wanted to jam you up with, like civil, civil litigation, uh, criminal litigation. This person literally is either a law enforcement officer or really believe in the police. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a uniform. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a. I'm seeing a mm -hmm. uniform. I'm seeing a, a uniform. Matter of fact, I'm seeing a brown uniform, brown patches, like a state trooper almost, but local law enforcement sheriff even spirit developed a woman, big breast, dark skin, female, mm -hmm. female law enforcement, and this is due to communication because this is air. They're telling you this person, this enemy female was saying, you can't do this. No, they have the energy of a uh, Jill, uh, Jennifer Hudson song popped into my head. I, I don't like being under your spotlight just because you think I might find somebody worthy. So that yes. popped in my, so this person has the, the energy of a uh, dictator, uh, warden, warden, warden. So you have to figure out who this dark-skinned female around you that was putting all this negativity in your head and in your life. Will do. All right. Now, here's some clarifiers to help you understand because these two jumped out as well. The first one was detached from drama. Again, mm -hmm. you have to leave this enemy alone. The second, the second card was floor prosperity. This person is 100% want to keep you from growing and advancing. This person, this enemy wanted to stop your flow of prosperity, stop your growth. This is a dark-skinned female. Nice breast on her now. I ain't going to front. Spirit showed me. Mm -hmm. And she is a very dictatorship person, controlling person, warden person, fearful of losing you. I, this could be your sister. 
your auntie, your mother, somebody you took care of, even your daughter. This is a female energy, no doubt. Gotcha. You. you got it? And I never, and if, you, and if you watch my readings, I never do an inner, I never even tell anybody I have a space on my board for enemies and friends. Right. But it jumped out on, and it fell on your enemy section. So I had to warn you. This could be a warning. Maybe you may be getting up there in life if you haven't touched this person yet. Maybe this is you gonna this one of these women that's that's out there trying to like you. They're gonna want to be controlling. Want to you push that shit aside. Don't let it stop your progress. Don't let it stop your flow. No doubt. And come this far if you stop. And it's a Leo. Spirit say one more thing. Huh. It's a Leo woman. This is this is a Leo. This is a Leo. August born Leo at that. Be careful. Okay. Okay. Another six sign. Okay. <laughs> Brother, that's your reading. Oh my God. I thank you for allowing me to read this reading to experience it, brother. Thank you. I thank you for this reading because you gave me confirmation upon confirmation upon confirmation. Wow. I feel it's too tall right now. <laughs> Man, you hey, you heard a meta you heard a Metatron, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's that that's that's how tall you should be feeling like Metatron, boy, the only one that could rival a god. But he gave you his sword, so he trusts you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thank you so much, brother. All right, brother, you be good. Stay blessed. You stay blessed and enjoy your day now. Mm-hmm. Everybody, that this reading right here got me boom. This reading right here. Wow. I ain't got no more to say. Hey, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the you and universe because at the end of the day, you're all you got. Like, click, subscribe, share. When you share, you help me and you and everybody in the world. Thank you all. Y'all be blessed.